Hey learners, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series on SQL interview problems and it is helping you out with your interview preparation. So do hit the like button and show some support in the comment section. It motivates me to make more videos like this. Also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any update on the new videos. So today I am back with another interview question where I will be discussing about one of the interesting problem and it has been asked in Swiggy's senior business analyst interview. So let's get started. So guys, let's quickly understand this problem. On the left side, we have the input table and this input table has two columns, ID and num. Now, we are supposed to write an SQL query to find the cumulative sum of the number column. That is, we want to print this output table. In this output table, we have three columns, ID, number and come underscore sum. So this column is representing the cumulative sum of the number column. Now by cumulative sum, I mean that I want the sum of the number which is present in the current row and the preceding rows. That is, for the first row, there is no preceding row. So I just want to print number 10. Whereas for the second row, I want to print the sum of 10 and 12 because 12 is followed by 10. So it will give me 22. Similarly, for the third row, I want the sum of 10, 12 and 3 and so on. Now, there are two ways to solve this problem. In this video, I am going to discuss both the ways. So, let's go to MySQL Workbench for the solution. So, guys, now we are at the MySQL Workbench. And so, first of all, let's write a basic select statement to print this table. So, I will be writing use sys select star from numbers. Let's execute this part. Alright. So now we have printed this table. We have five rows and two columns. Now, in order to find the cumulative sum using this table, there are two ways. The first way is by using window function. So I will be telling you which window function we are going to use here and how we can use that. So the window function that we need to use here is sum because we are supposed to find the sum of the numbers. So let me show you how we can use a window function in order to find the cumulative sum. So for that, so in the final output table, we want three columns, ID, number and cumulative sum. So for that, I will be writing ID, num. And in order to find out the cumulative sum, I will be using the window function sum. In this window function, the parameter that I am going to pass is num because we want the sum of numbers. So now, I want my SQL to calculate the cumulative sum against this number column. But for that, I need to provide a particular order in which this cum cumulative sum will be calculated because MySQL will first of all sort the data and in that particular order, it will calculate the cumulative sum. So for that, I will be using over. Now inside this parenthesis, I need to provide the sorting order. So I want my data set to be ordered by ID column, order by ID because I want the cumulative sum with respect to the ID column right and i want to give it an alias as cum underscore sum after this i'll be writing the uh, from keyword and we need to mention the name of the table from numbers let's execute this uh, also i want the data set to be ordered by with respect to the id column so i'll be using order by one let's execute this to find the output see so in the output table, we are getting three columns, id, num and cum underscore sum, which is, which is representing the cumulative sum. And here we are getting 10, 22, 22 is the sum of 10 and 12. Similarly, we are getting 23, which is the sum of 10, 12 and 3 and so on. So this is the first way of attempting this problem. Now, the other way of doing this problem is by using self-join. So let me show you how we can do that. So guys, let's quickly apply self-join and see what is the output we are getting. So in order to apply self-join, we need to treat this numbers table as two different tables. So I will be using T1 and T2 as two different aliases to refer this numbers table. So first of all, let's write the select statement, select star from numbers. So the first alias will be T1, join numbers the second alias will be t2 now i want to order my output with respect to t1 dot id let's execute this and see what we are getting 
all right so this is the output that we are getting so now after applying self join we are getting four columns the first two columns are from table t1 and the other are from table t2 now as per the requirement of this question what do we want we want to equate id1 number 10 and number 10 from this column similarly for id2 we want two rows where we can get 10 and 12 corresponding to id2 and number 12 similarly for id3 and number 3 we want 10 12 and 3 that is we need to filter out the undesired rows so for that we can use a joining condition so as you can see that correspond the the rows that we want to filter out are we want all the rows which are preceding or equal to the id right so our joining condition would be on t1 dot id is greater than or equal to t2 dot id so by applying this joining condition what we are doing we are filtering out the undesired records and we are just selecting the records where t1 dot id is greater than or equal to t2 dot id that is uh, for example for this id2 what we are doing we are just taking 1 and 2 from t2 table right and we are filtering out 3 4 and 5 id and all these three records similarly for id3 we are just selecting 1 2 3 and we are filtering out 4 and 5 now let's execute this to see the output all right so now we are getting so corresponding to id1 and number 10 we are getting number 10 similarly corresponding to id2 and number 12 we are getting both these two records 10 and 12 and so on for 3 we are getting 3 records for 4 we are getting 4 records now what do we want in the final table so in the final table we want id number and the sum of number we do not want this id so what we'll be doing so we'll be selecting id number and number column and we'll be applying sum function on this particular column because we want the sum of this number against id and number so let me show you how we can do that so uh, let's use this query only so t1 dot id comma t1 dot number and we want t2 dot num now we want to take the sum and we want to give it an alias that is come underscore sum now what do we want we want to take this sum with respect to id and number so we'll be using group by so group by 1 comma 2 so 1 is representing t1 dot id and 2 is representing t1 dot number so let's execute this to see the output all right so here we are getting three columns id num and com underscore sum and in the com underscore sum column we are getting the cumulative sum you can check it so for the first record we are getting 10 for the second id we are getting 10 plus 12 that is 22 and for the third record we are getting 10 plus 12 plus 3 that is 25 and so on so guys in this video we have learned how we can calculate the cumulative sum so there are two ways the first method is by using a window function and the second one is using self join although the first method is quite simpler but in interview it can be asked that can you find out the cumulative sum without using a window function so in that case we can do it using this method and in swiggy's interview i have been asked to calculate the cumulative sum without using a window function so in that case i have used this method so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it so do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this also, in case of any query, do let me know in the comment section. And if you have any tricky problem that you have faced in any of your past SQL interviews, do share it with me so that I can make a solution video on the same.